help but laugh. I'm Mary Barters with the Barters Group of Premier Plus Realty, and you are tuning in to Really Mary. This episode is super special in the fact that uh, my guest today is Enoch with Naples United Football Club, FC. And we are delighted in Naples to have not only just Enoch, but this club with us here. So Enoch, hello, good morning. Really, Mary? <laughs> I love that. Um, as any of you know that have watched my episodes, it just tickles my heart when that happens. So, you know, this is a new club here, Enoch. And so tell everybody about the club, what's happening, um, you know, the season, what that all looks like. How long do we have? <laughs> <laughs> as much time as you want, my friend. <laughs> so Naples United is a semi-professional slash professional soccer club. Although we have football in the title, it's actually a soccer club, not American football. They play in the MPSL, which is the National Premier Soccer League. It's been in Naples for three years now. So what they wanted to do was really show their worth and their value in terms of developing talent on the field. So in the three years, they become six in the country in the MPSL because there's over 100 teams in the MPSL nationwide. So they became six in the country in 2018 and they earned themselves a berth on the Open Cup, which is the cup where all the teams in the US get involved. You're talking about MLS teams and you're talking about USL teams as well, professional clubs. So it gives players a visibility towards going professional and also going to college. So what Naples United are also doing now, again, after showing kind of the worth on the field and the worth in terms of how we coach, we're building an academy for at-risk youth. So we're really looking for support, community engagement, funding, investment and sponsorship from our local community. We want to galvanize the community and have a premier high level sports club that they can come and support. We will be playing our first team games at the Paradise Sports Complex once that stadium is built. So we're looking at gonna we're gonna have great events, we're gonna have a great supporters network and club and then we can bring a lot of businesses, a lot of the community out to really enjoy high level soccer. I oh, I totally love that. One of the things that is interesting though is people may not know where this uh, sports club and field is. Tell them where that is. So it's the new it's the new parks based on uh, off of Collier Boulevard. Um, if you just type in Paradise Sports Complex, you'll see it. It's, they're going to have great fields. It's not fully developed yet, but there's four or five soccer slash American football fields there right now. And yeah, it's, um, it's going to be a great hub for the community. And we want people to get involved. We want people to come and see the facilities, come to the stadiums. They've got a beautiful cove where they have fire pits and a lot of um, different events are going to be taking place there as well, aside from the, aside from the soccer. So um, it's going to be a great place and a great community hub going forward. Uh, agree. So where that is, is that's at basically 75 and Collier um, is on that northeast corner is where that's all going. Is that correct, Enoch? Yes. Yeah, so it's just past the 101 exit. So you're coming off the 101 exit on the 75 and it's just about literally three, four minutes just down the road from there. Yeah, that's awesome. That to me is like an amazing thing that we're putting together. Now, you said that your first game, um, tell us when that is. So the first game is due in the end of March, COVID permitting. It will be the Open Cup game as well. But prior to that, we should be having some tournaments, some preseason friendlies. We're looking at bringing MLS teams like Inter Miami, Inter Naples to come and play Naples United. So again, the, the level of soccer that's going to be coming to Naples is going to be of a very, very high level. And you're going to enjoy some superstars coming into town. Well, and you know, my kids grow up in soccer a little bit. I told you, Enoch, here, and we have some amazing fields that people from, you know, that we played with at the state level would love to die for. And this is going to take it a whole nother level um, with the fields that you have in that venue, which is going to be super awesome. You know, I uh, have to say, though, you you came not from the U.S. Talk about your background in soccer. So I was born in London, England. I have maybe 12 plus years of playing professional soccer in England for the likes of Leeds United, Bristol City, Luton Town, as well as Nigeria national team. 
I was actually one of the ones that was a late developer. So I turned pro at 21, which is very late in Europe. In America is, is kind of par for course, but in Europe is pretty late. So I had my degree under my belt first. And then as I was playing, I did my master's in finance. So education and sport has been a big part of my life. And now is obviously the passion that I have and the experience and knowledge that I want to give to the youth of Collier County is, is with that in mind. So it's really pushing in terms of pursuing your passion in sport, getting your education. And with Naples United, we're actually creating pathways for the youth of Collier County in both elements. I love that. Love, love, love it. Now, one team that I didn't hear that you played for in England is Manchester United. Tell me, <laughs> why not? Because they're terrible. They're absolutely <laughs> terrible. So I grew up playing, um, I grew up supporting Liverpool. So if the Americans already know, is a really big rivalry in England between Liverpool and Manchester United. So anytime I can trash Man United, I will trash Man United. <laughs> I love that. I couldn't but not ask because it was a kind of a funny part. So the Man United uh, fans out there, you should just go meet Enoch and, and rub some elbows with them to like get this friendly rivalry going on. Um, when we know a few of those guys. Um, so into March, Awesome. You guys are going to do the Open Cup, which is super cool because you got a seat at the table because of being sixth, which is fabulous. Um, you know, Naples United uh, FC, which is fabulous. And one more plug for, um, you know, what you guys are doing with the at-risk youth. Yes, yeah, so we are really looking for community engagement. There's sponsorship um, packages available. There's funding available. Naples United FC are actually a non-profit organization as well. So what we're really trying to do is really get those um, at-risk youth um, out on the field, get them exposed to something new mm -hmm. and allow them to flourish in their lives. So given, the, given what 2020 has been, it's really important to um, really focus on the wellness and uh, just the exposure to different things out there that's available for, for these kids. And I think um, just getting on the field, it takes care of a lot of initiatives. It takes care of mental health initiatives, out of school initiatives. It takes care of like just healthcare initiatives. So we really, and, and, social, and social inclusion. So it really takes care of a lot of different types of initiatives that can really help our community grow as a whole. And I believe just with, by doing that and having a, a top soccer team, um, we can really um, we can really engage the whole community and galvanize the community. Just coming out of this 2020 has been a stressful year for a lot of people. Well said. We have some links that we're going to put in a right so that if you want to uh, donate, sponsor, all those things, the links below in this, they can do that. Correct. So they can they can contact myself. They can contact Naples United directly on their website, NaplesUnited.com. So there's um, there's many ways to get in touch with us um, as a group. And yes, yeah, so we we're really looking to engage everybody in the community, get everybody out, and just create a and galvanize this whole community. I love, love, love it. Enoch, thank you so much for being our guest today. We will want to hear um, as you have you come back again as you guys have your first games and, and wins, right? Um, and, you know, Enoch's not going to be hard to, to uh, miss on the soccer field, right? So go find him and uh, talk to him. Are you tall or short, Enoch? We can't tell from here. Five. You're how long? How tall? Six foot five. I'm pretty oh. big, so you you won't miss me at all. <laughs> you will not miss him. See his face. Go out. Introduce yourself. Let's get these kids in the right way. And again, I'm Mary Bartis with the Bartis Group of Premier Plus Realty, and we look forward to seeing you on the soccer field in the next episode of Really Mary. Ciao.